Kepo CEO Lo Jinhua gives me a guided tour of a pretty impressive building in Singapore that houses the group's energy as a service business unit. It's called Kepo Infrastructure at Changi, and it has the ability to generate more than double the energy it uses via a number of renewable features. So, as part of Keppel's drive towards sustainable solutions, yes. you've actually green retrofitted one of your existing infrastructure sites like this one here at Changi to be a positive energy building. You are right. This is uh, one of its kind. It's a positive energy building. It essentially produces about twice the amount of renewable energy that it consumes. Uh, it actually uh, involves uh, three, three uh, areas. First and foremost, uh, it's engineered to use the most highly efficient uh, equipment, systems and devices. Uh, and of course, uh, we have also put in place uh, solar panels on the vertical walls as well as at, at the rooftop. Uh, and of course, we have also uh, greenified the facade and plus the roof garden to reduce the impact of the urban uh, heat sink. Uh, last but not least, uh, it leverages a digital uh, twin uh, which uses uh, also uh, machine learning and AI to optimise the performance of this asset. Apart from old buildings, you're also looking at ways to decarbonize data centres which are notoriously energy intensive. What green and renewable solutions are you exploring? Well, uh, Christine, we are very involved in the forefront of uh, making data centres green. Uh, for instance, we have a concept that we are working on now for a floating data centre. Uh, the concept is not that you will float in the middle of the ocean, but you will be very close to shore. Uh, and the key innovation there is using water to cool uh, rather than air. Uh, on top of that, uh, we are also working uh, closely uh, with different agencies. Of course, uh, we still have to convince the government that it is important for Singapore as a digital hub to have data centres. And so one idea that we are now exploring is uh, creating a data centre park plus. So a rather uh, bigger data centre, so it doesn't sit as a standalone data centre, but within a park where we can provide the infrastructure, including renewable energy initially to, uh, pro to power up the data centres and maybe even ultimately using some form of hydrogen to power the data centre. Keppel is part of a consortium to build Singapore's first hydrogen-ready coal generation plant. You're also involved in a major green hydrogen development in Australia. Mm. What part of the hydrogen economy and value chain do you see Keppel playing a role in? Well, you can, you've just described it. We are playing a part in the different uh, ends of the, the entire value chain, so to speak. So let, let, let me touch on that. So, so we are building the first hydrogen-ready uh, power plant in Singapore. That's downstream. And, uh, but the key there is whether hydrogen will become uh, economical at that point in time we will, remains to be seen. Uh, but putting that aside, the fact that it is hydrogen-ready means that we do not have this fear mm -hmm. that it will one day become a stranded asset. It means it can actually take hydrogen by volume, 30%, without any modification. With modification, it can take hydrogen 100%. The other thing we're doing is that we're also looking at where can we get upstream uh, hydrogen. So we, have, we are involved in a number of uh, uh, exploration work. Uh, we are working with a company called Green Co. in uh, India. They are a very big uh, uh, renewable player in India about the possibility of importing green ammonia from India. And more importantly, a very large project, we are working with the Queensland government together with a consortium of partners to see whether we can manufacture uh, uh, green ammonia and green hydrogen uh, from central Queensland uh, and then export it uh, to markets like Japan and Singapore. How much are you allocating, investing in green energy, green ammonia? So we, are, we have our fingers in different pies because the, 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 the technology is evolving and uh, there are different uh, ecosystem players trying to solve for that problem 
Uh, so at this point in time, our investments are still fairly limited. How limited? Do you have uh, a number for I don't, I don't have a number that I can share with you, but we are, as capital, we are always very careful that whatever investments we make uh, has to have a good return. So right now, I would say that our involvement is really being involved so that we want to be there, we want to know what's happening, but you don't want to be too early as well. Uh, so besides hydrogen, of course, we are also involved in the import of renewables uh, from the region. We are already importing uh, low-carbon hydropower from Laos through the ASEAN inter uh, interconnector. It's already been imported to Singapore over the last two years. Uh, but we have also been recently given a, a provisional license to import up to one gigawatt from Cambodia and 300 megawatt from uh, Indonesia.